10 passes and he finished the night with two goals, three. So a fine performance by Gary Hocking, who's down in the changing rooms and also there with him is our own Peter Donegan. Pete? Thank you, Sandy. Well, I think Gary and uh, all of Geelong can be well pleased with their game tonight. But Gary, you in particular, well done. Great game. Thank you, Doug. Well, you look as though you're enjoying that drink. It uh, appeared to be a tough game from the sidelines. Was it that way out on the ground? Yeah, it was pretty physical. Um, especially in the second half, they sort of come out and they wanted to sort of hit us from the, you know, and get stuck into us. But um, I think our kicking let us down. We probably should have won by a lot more. Yeah, well, that was one thing John Devine said to you both at half-time and three-quarter time, that you should have been a long, long way in front. Yeah, well, he told us just to um, don't look at the scoreboard and just, you know, try to set up goals. But we sort of um, straight away, probably a bit of pressure, probably entering the finals for the first time for a while. And um, he just said to don't look at the scoreboard and just keep battling along. Some of the evergreens of the team tonight were amongst your stronger players, guys like Andrew Buse and Neville Bruns in particular was superb. Yeah, Andrew's having a good season. He's come back from the back side. He's played well. And uh, Neville Bruns played very well too. Well, almost deafening down here. Now, I know John Devine doesn't like being reminded about the fact that Geelong have promised so much but delivered so little in the last few years. Now that you're in a grand final, it's just going to be head down, tail up and work towards it? Yeah, we're just going to keep our head down and work, work really hard at training and um, try and out, iron out a few problems, you know, about our game and just, you know, concentrate on dedication things and try and be more consistent. I'm sure the players must be just about sick and tired of that tag too, you know, the pretenders, because you have looked such a good side for a couple of years but haven't gone on with it and you want to lay it to rest? Yeah, we sure will do, yep. Yeah. All right, Gary, well, congratulations on getting your way into the grand final and you personally on a marvellous game tonight. On behalf of Channel 7 and Panasonic, accept the microwave oven. Uh, thank you. Gary Hogan, the best I'd, player on the ground. I'd thank um, Sonia and that for um, putting that up for us. Thank Good you, on you, mate. Well done. Uh, Gary Hogan. And uh, he'll be one of the players in the grand final here in a couple of weeks' time. And Sandy, pretty excited mood down here in the Geelong rooms.